Arsenal 3, Manchester United 2. Manchester United dropping points today against Arsenal. All three points against the Asna, the Gunners. Yes, they did. But what a terrific game it was for the neutrals, for those who are watching. Manchester United did themselves proud at times, but Arsenal just showed that they were just too good towards the end, especially with Manchester United, the way they dropped their level of performance and sat back and sat deep in the last 10, 15 minutes of the game. But I have to say, big up to the boys because they did so well and I'm so proud. Arsenal deserved their win. Although, again, it was a tight affair and it could have went any way at the end of the day. It could have went towards Manchester United. But I'm proud of my boys because they showed exactly they can play against the big boys. Big up to them as well. I'm not upset. I'm not annoyed. But big up to Manchester United, especially for, for what Eric Ten Hag has done. But to the Glazers and the owners and Richard Arnold, shame on you! Because you, 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 you have not supported him when it comes to the big games by having players there available for the shenanigans that's been going on. These are the times when you're supposed to support them. So the Glazers know they, that they know exactly what Manchester United could be towards the end of the season if they really, truly invest. But shame on the owners and shame on the Glazers. But over that first half, you know what? The first half was spectacular. So good at times, you know. Manchester United were in there, held their ground up. Especially with the first goal coming from Sir Marcus Rashford. Oh, that shot from outside the box, you know. Manchester United winning that ball, coming off of, taking the ball off of Partey. And Partey as well did extremely well. We missed Casemiro. But Rashford taking a long shot from outside the box, curling it in. And it was a superb goal by Marcus Rashford, making it 1-0 for Manchester United. And then that Pusio Eric and Ketio had to equalise. Cross coming from Granit Xhaka and heading it in. And Ketio showing exactly what he is, man. What he can do without Gabriel Jesus. Arsenal were terrific for him. It was 1-1 at half time. Second half, we couldn't hold it down for the first 10 minutes. I was like, boys, calm down. Hold it down. Let's go there. But Saka... In the first 10 minutes, 54 minutes, Saka making it 2-1. Saka causing problems. A goal again. Long range shot. He showed Marcus Rashford, if you can do it, so can I. And that's what he did. Long range shot straight outside the box. David here was beaten. But Manchester United, what they did in that second half, I loved it because they showed courage. Lissandro Martinez from a set piece. Yes, Ramsdale fucked up, fluffed it off. But the Sergeant Martinez headed it in took for it to equalise, to make it 2-2. And we was in heaven, was thinking, yeah, we can come back. We've come back now, we can probably get that winner. But it wasn't to be, because Arsenal, towards 9 seconds, around the 90th minute, a flick on by the feet, a flick from the, flick, flick from the wrist, flick from the flick feet from Eddie Nketio to make it three goals to two. And it was it, man. Manchester United just lost that game. Um, we deserved something. We deserved the point. But it was just unfortunate, man. Player wise, I thought um, Anthony would done well. Workhurst was support was superb. Workhurst and Rashford as well, and Bruno Fernandez, uh, he was superb, man. I think with my man, the match today definitely has to go to Bruno or Workhurst because they did well for Manchester United in in certain areas and aspect of the game. Uh, but yeah, don't give the match a day. I, I I can't really say, man. I I thought. Maybe De Gea could have done better for the goal that he conceded. But I don't know who I can give it to. But I'm, I'm, I'm happy with my team. I'm happy, guys. As always, guys, this has been your match reaction from your boy, Ivor and Spice. Let me know what your thoughts on today's game is. Let me know who your man of the match was. Let me know who your don't give the match was as well. Let me know your thoughts in general, man. Did Manchester United deserve to win or deserve to lose or deserve that draw? As always, remember to subscribe, smash that like button, remember to share across all social media platforms. Remember to press the notification bell so you can be the first one to watch. And remember to follow me across all social media platforms. Till next time, guys, remember to keep it united. And remember to keep it ready now because your boy is out. Peace! We should have never lost.